This one right here is definitely one that everybody walks past. I hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys. My name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddy. These are items that I sold for $35 or less on eBay. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. Let's get started. All right, so the first item I sold is this Play School Transformers Rescue Bots Capture Claw Chase Police Truck. Now, this one does not have a trailer. You can see right here, there's a little hole. That is for an attachment. I didn't even have the attachment. I got this at a thrift store for 25 cents and a small lot of toys, and I sold this for $20 plus shipping. So one thing that I am known for is sourcing cheap. I like to bundle. I like to buy things in bulk, and um, this is one of those items, but it transforms into this little figure. These are really, really easy transformers for younger kids, and they do sell. Um, most of them are bread and butter. Vintage Easter chenille pipe cleaner bunnies and other chick birds. New old stock. I picked these up at a garage sale, and I just thought they were super, super cute. Vintage, new old stock in the packaging, little items that people can craft with. I paid $2 for all of them, and I sold them for a best offer of $14 plus shipping. The next item is one that you guys probably all walk right past and maybe wouldn't even waste your time on, but I do pick these up. They are Imaginex. Do you see the eye right here? And this one is actually from the Dino Fortress, and it's the orange lava boulder ball replacement part. I sold this for $7.44 plus shipping. I got this at the Goodwill bins. It weighs next to nothing, so it probably cost me about 10 cents. Creative memories. Anything creative memories? Oh my goodness, I pretty much pick it up anymore if I can source it cheap because creative memories flies out of my store. I got this at a garage sale for $1 and I sold it for $12.40 plus shipping. This is a British Museum 1984 dinosaur. It's a Brachiosaurus, and I honestly, if I'm being completely honest, thought this was going to sell super fast, and it was actually a very long tail item. I love picking up um, animals and um, dinosaurs, different things like this in this material of plastic. It's kind of like a rubbery plastic, some of them, and some of them are just like a harder plastic. A lot of times they are dated on the bottom and signed with the brand. Um, Schleich, uh, Safari, there's lots of different brands and they just sell well. Are they long tail? Yeah, usually. Sometimes you can put them in small lots, but this guy took forever to sell, but I made a good profit. I got him at a garage sale for $2 and I sold him for $21.69 plus shipping. If I remember correctly, he's actually pretty big. Look how long he is. He's like 16 inches long. So he was kind of a pain to ship too. The next item is something special counted cross stitch. And cross stitch kits are another thing that I always pick up if I can get them cheap. I like to pay a dollar or less for them. Now, if it is one that I scan and it retails for $25, or I'm sorry, if it sells, comps out, actual solds on eBay, for $25 or more, I will pay up three to five dollars for those. If it's one that goes for a hundred dollars, which there are cross stitch kits out there that can go for over a hundred dollars, um, I will pay up for those as well. So this one sold for a best offer of $15 plus shipping. My cost of goods was probably a dollar. I don't remember where I got it, maybe a garage sale or a thrift store. Um, and the buyer paid shipping on that. This is a Scentsy Creepy Crawler Spiderweb Halloween candle. Candle. I got this at a garage sale for $5 and it sold for $34.10 plus shipping. I like to show my item lit up in the photo. I think it grabs attention compared to probably the other listings that are shown. This was a pre-owned item with the box. This is Eurographics Yoga Cats. And this was actually purchased from a viewer, MacPack Reselling. Thank you so much for your purchase. I will link her um, 
YouTube channel down below. She just started YouTube. So definitely go and sub her up. Show her some love with a sub, as I always say. And I challenge you guys to go over, watch a video, put in the comments, Bolo Buddies sent me. And um, let's see how many new subs we can get her from this video. All right. I sold this for $24.99 and the buyer paid shipping. Uh, that one came out of a thrift store mystery box. This one right here is definitely one that everybody walks past. Have you guys ever seen that game called Ella Fun? Um, these are the replacement butterflies. So it's this elephant and you turn it on and these butterflies shoot out and you try to catch them with a net. Well, you can sell the trunk. You can sell the butterflies. You can sell the nets. And I actually got one of these from a Facebook marketplace haul. Somebody was like just getting rid of all their kids toys, said, come pick it up, gave me one price. I didn't even know what I was getting. And that is how I discovered that these butterflies sell. Uh, they don't even really look like butterflies, but that's what they are. That's your keyword. Uh, sold these for $11.05 in the buyer paid shipping and they sold fast. This here is a Capelli purse and it's with the original tags. This came out of a thrift store mystery box. Honestly, like I wasn't a big fan of this. I'm actually surprised it even sold, but it did sell. It took a little while. It sold for $11.70 plus shipping. But the, the lesson here is this is not something I would have sourced. The only reason I listed this is because it came in a thrift store mystery box. I would have left this on the shelf. Now, am I saying that you should buy this? Not necessarily because it did take a while to sell and it's a, not a high dollar item, but it just goes to show that just because I'm not interested in something and it does not appeal to my taste does not mean that it does not appeal to somebody else. The next item is this Giving Teddy Bear Plush. It is Reclaimed Yarns. And I got this one from, I want to say this came out of the free plush that I got from a viewer. Um, a viewer reached out to me and she said she knew I was local and she said, I need this plush gone tomorrow. If you can come get it, I will give it all to you free. So it either came from that or it came from the Goodwill Benz. I cannot remember. Oh, and I didn't write it down. I'm so sorry. But anyway... I will link her eBay store down below as well. So definitely go and check her out. And if you go to an eBay store, there's a little heart. If you click on that heart, you'll get notifications when they list new items. You'll also get notifications if they send out coupons. So whenever you hear me shout out like an eBay store or a YouTube channel, those will be linked down in the description. So someone bought this bear and this King Kong plush. The plush, I believe, came from the bins and it had a hole in the seam, unfortunately. So I just put that right there in the title. Now, the items, the bear and the Kong sold for $2, I'm sorry, $20.80 plus shipping. This was from a repeat buyer. I'm pretty sure this is somebody that watches my channel, but they have never come out and said that. But if you do watch my channel, I see you and I appreciate your purchases so much. Um, all right, let's go on to the next one. Vintage 1993 Matchbox Plastic Model Kit. This came out of a Dibble Box, which is from Donatella Bottolino, her YouTube channel. It's basically a big old mystery reseller box. This one. And the entire unboxing is on my channel if you guys want to check that out. This came from the Goodwill Bins. It sold really fast. It is a kid's preferred buttercup baby doll lovey, eco-friendly stuffed toy. And I sold this for $31 plus shipping. And it's even got, I mean, it's not perfect, but somebody was looking for it and they bought it. They found it in my store. This one also came out of a $50 toy box, a dibble box from Donatella Bottolino. So the whole box cost me 50 bucks with free shipping. This one item sold for $25 plus shipping. And that unboxing is also on my channel if you guys would like to check it out. And uh, Donatella is now on Whatnot, and it is just her first name, Donatella. And I do have a link for Whatnot down below. If you guys join with that link, you're going to get $15 to shop. That is $15 of free money. I'm Bolo Buddies over there. Make sure you're following me as well. Check out my Buy It Now section. And I sold uh, these Caterpillar replacement parts. So I believe I found the complete thing, but I couldn't get the body to work, like the main head. 
So I decided to part these out. These came from the Goodwill bins. Took a best offer of $15 plus shipping. If you've been watching me a while, you know I always pick these up and they always sell well. Um, usually if they have the head, they sell better, but um, replacement parts do well also. Some people part these out individually. And like for somebody who just wants to pick up an arrow or this, whatever this is. Um, so that's another option as well. If you want to spend a little more time on it, you may make more that way. Vintage Sega Sony Mickey Mania video game sticker sheet. I can't remember where I got this, but I sold it for $7.44 plus shipping. The next item is this Power Rangers Dino Thunder Black Quadro Battleized Extendable Posable Figure. This is one figure. And in my main photo, I showed him stretched out and I showed him not stretched out. <laughs> I guess transformed would be a better word. I got this at the Goodwill bins, so probably around a buck in this, maybe less. And I sold it for $20.80 plus shipping, and it sold very quickly. This one here came from Whatnot, and I purchased this from Zombie Bargain Hunter. So make sure you go over to Whatnot and follow him as well. He was having an animated plush sale, and I picked up a whole bunch of plush from him. Most of them were $5 each, and then you get discounted shipping after, you, after your first purchase. So I'm guessing I have probably around six bucks in this and I sold it for $16.25 plus shipping. Now, um, on whatnot, if you source on whatnot, is it possible to snag a big money bolo? Absolutely. This was me supporting a fellow YouTuber, a fellow friend. It was his, I think it was his first show. And I love animated plush. And I put them over on my reseller testing bolo products. So it was kind of a win-win for me. I got video content and I flipped the item for a profit. Was it me buying it for 50 cents and selling it for 15 or $16? No, but I still made a profit, helped out a friend, got content for my channel and definitely a win-win. So I have other items listed from him. I may be doing an unboxing. I haven't quite decided yet, but you will definitely see those items in my what sold. This is Over the Hedge Hammy Squirrel Plush 2006 stuffed animal toy from Wild Planet. The buyer was all in for $24.57. So uh, go follow Zombie Bargain Hunter on YouTube. He has an awesome YouTube channel. He specializes in plush. So uh, go sub him up. This is a Brighton Geneva Passage Desk Clock Square Silver Tone. I got this at the Goodwill Benz, believe it or not. Took a best offer of $18 plus shipping on that. These are Susan Paley Lady Brooch Pens. A lot of two. I took a best offer of $18 plus shipping on these. And uh, I can't remember where I got these, if I'm being honest. I think they actually, nope, I lied. It was another one that I wasn't sure. I have my notes here. A thrift store. I paid a dollar. So they were probably 50 cents each. Um, I did not use my caliper for this. I just used my uh, tape measure because they were still in the original packaging. But just a fun little find. Uh, little women brooches. <laughs> really easy to list. This one came from a garage sale. I paid 50 cents for it. Took a best offer of eight and the buyer paid shipping. And it ended up being, uh, it's 1982 Smurfs. It's damaged. I, I am really not even sure why I bought this. I don't know if it came in a lot with other stuff. I cannot believe this sold. There's some things I sell and I'm, I just can't even believe it myself. It is uh, from 1982 and somebody probably just needed the replacement parts, but list it and forget it. This one was probably more of a long tail item. This is a vintage France 1 by 35 scale Heller model kit, 135 unbuilt and complete. I got this at a garage sale for $3, took a best offer of 30 and the buyer paid shipping. This here is a strawberry shortcake tea time turtle plush by Kenner, 1981, no collar. And unfortunately it has a hole. And I'm not talking just like a little hole. It has a hole, you can see it, it's right on top. And this item still sold for $13 plus shipping. I got this at the Goodwill bins. Somebody can stitch that up. This is vintage wooden Christmas ornaments. Uh, I got these out of a Christmas thrift store mystery box. Sold these for $10 best offer and the buyer paid shipping. The next item sold super 
fast. When I say fast, I mean it sold fast. It's a Lego Duplo Thomas and Friends Stanley Face Train Base Replacement. And I got this from a thrift store. I believe I have footage on it. Um, it was in one of my reseller vlogs. I just happened to stop at a thrift store. It was the day that um, me and my husband were sitting at lunch and we realized that neither one of us had brought our credit card with us and we had no way to pay. <laughs> so I had to drive home and get my... Uh, Get, get some money. But anyway, you guys can check out that reseller vlog. Super fun. But I got this the same day. Sold this for $17.54 plus shipping. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Leave me an emoji of a hat or just write the word hat. Let me know which bolo surprised you the most. And thanks for watching.